Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. Finally here with the unboxing of the Xbox Series S, which is the one that I pre-ordered. This was supposed to get to me on November 10 when it was actually released, but for some reason it ended up in Mexico, got stuck over there, and I finally got it today, like almost a week later. So, but hey, at least it's here. Now I'm a little bit worried if this thing is gonna work or not, because since it went through a whole bunch of stops, you know, getting here home. I don't know if it was dropped or not, but you know, I hope it's all good. So here in the front box, this is how it looks. There you go. 512, 120 frames per second, 120 frames per second. You got a couple logos there, no disc, no digital, you know, it's digital. 512 gigabytes of FS SSD, which kind of sucks. It's only 512 considering there's no physical disc media here. You got the Series S right there. There you go, this is how it looks on the side. And over here, power your dreams. Power your dreams, you got this, redefined speed with Xbox Velocity Architecture. You got this, next gen, and Game Pass, which is amazing right now. They just added um, X, um, EA Play, and now it's amazing, great freaking deal. So here, Let's go ahead and take this out right here. Okay, that goes out. And it's another tape over here. Oh. And I believe that should be it. Let's go and see. Put it down here. Oh yeah, look how it opens up. Awesome, you got the cardboard here which says Xbox right there. And here is the console, nice and wrapped. Looks like a freaking gift. Put this to the side. Oh my God, that looks so tiny. Holy crap. We got some instructions here on how to set it up. Look at that, you got the ports. Instructions on how to set it up with the phone. Over here we go. Oh, there's another box over here or storage spot. We got HDMI cables. Now, one thing that sucks is that I believe these are just normal HDMI cables, not the 2.1 like that you need for 4K, 120 hertz. But these are the ones that can work. You got the power cord right here. And I believe this is the remote, the controller, which I never touched yet. This is the first time I'm actually gonna touch the Xbox Series controller. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Well, it feels a lot more lighter than the dual sense that I've been using on the X on the PlayStation 5. Oh man. Ooh. Feels very, very similar to the old Xbox One controller. Uh, but of course you have this d-pad which is way better in my opinion i like the way it feels look at that that's gonna be way better and it has the share button with this one you're gonna be able to um, capture videos and photos and share them to twitter or any other website or social media that's just really cool that it, finally they added that button there you got the batteries which of course it still uses double a batteries but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try if i can actually use my batteries from my other controller okay so here we got the other controller i've been using look at the they look very very similar of course this is the cyberpunk edition and i've been using uh rechargeable batteries and most likely you would like to know right if they're gonna fit your normal xbox or your new xbox one controller i always swap batteries you know, I never, I barely ever buy them again. I just always swap the batteries that I've been using on the prior one. And yes, it does. Look at that. Yep. Fits perfectly. So now I got wireless charging controller with the Xbox Series S controller. Now we have the controller here, which is super freaking tiny. Oh my God, I just did the unboxing for the PlayStation 5 control um, console last week and that thing was a behemoth. And having this in my hand, 
so damn tiny. It's it's even smaller than the Xbox One X. There it is. Look at that. The front, you got the power button, USB-A connection. Uh, you have the, I believe this is the reset or the pairing button for the controller. I, be, I believe that's the pairing button for the controller. I was going to say eject button. Eject what? <laughs> so here you got, no, this is no speaker. Even though, yes, when I first saw this, I thought this was a speaker. And yes, it has like a, it looks like a speaker grill there. But this is where the airflow is actually going to come out from there. You got the Xbox branding right there. This side, oh, you got rubber. So you're going to. If you're going to stand it up, that's how it should go. On one side, it doesn't have rubber. On the other side, it has rubber. There you go. So that means it goes this way down. And on the back, Ethernet port, USB-A, USB-A, 3.0, 3.0, and I believe it 3.0, 3.1, HDMI out. You got, this is the storage slot where you're going to put the, like, the one terabyte card Later on in the future, there might be other brands available, but this is the slot. If you want to expand the storage with the same speed SSD as the internal storage, you're going to have to buy that card, which is very expensive. And of course, here you got the power import. And I believe this is like a Kensington lock. I believe that's what it is right there. And that's it. Look at that. Oh my. Let's see how it looks compared to the Xbox series no series <laughs> the xbox one x pro one x cyberpunk edition look at that like you see there it's even smaller than the xbox one x cyberpunk edition and right now i ha still have to keep this until cyberpunk actually comes out because cyberpunk the game is actually tied to this console so i have to redeem it on this console and then i could download it over here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this to the tv that way we can actually see the first time starting up and share with you guys you know a little bit of hands-on look of the settings and how everything looks compared to the old xbox one x so now i just connected the power and the hdmi cable from the xbox series s to the benq 32 inch 4k monitor and uh we're gonna see the how it start starts up for the first time let's go and press the button here there you go and let's see man i hope it actually recognizes the hdmi input because i had a couple things connected there and there you go whoa beautiful okay that was awesome nice okay so now let's go ahead and wait for this thing to set up keep in mind I, I'm a little I was a little bit worried because this console was um, stuck in Mexico and I was worried that it would be um, in bad conditions but so far it's not so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna go to the application and enter or link my account to my account using the application which I heard it was very very easy so this is the normal application let's click here uh, says set up a console set up a new console set up a new console and now i'm going to go ahead and enter that code over there z click connect to console it should be correct let's see if it actually works uh my heart is pretty fast here i did try oh look at that connected continue setup on your phone okay so let's go ahead next uh english location yes united states good internet yes uh, joined right there joining your console to wi-fi to your wi-fi and that should be it right joining i haven't turned on the controller yet so that's one thing to keep in mind okay your console is online click next and let's update okay so i guess there's an update uh, okay it's updating right now like see there it's already updating over there it says choose your power mode energy saving or instant on i'm gonna go ahead and put it instant on 
That way it starts faster, you know, fastest set or startup, play, install, and manage consoles games from your mobile device. So definitely I'm just going to go ahead and choose instant, click next, and turn on remote play, uh, remote feature, turn on. Now let's sign into the Xbox profile. If you want, you can select a console to copy your system to. Copy settings, start refresh. I'm just going to start fresh and all done all done there you go so we are done here now what i have to wait is for the console to actually update and the other thing that i'm also going to do is that i'm going i have play xbox one games here already installed and i was using this with my xbox one x console so i'm also going to be connecting this to the xbox one there usb port that you see right there on the console I'm going to be connecting it there. That way you guys can see how it looks when you connect it uh, when we come back to the second part of the video. Okay, so I already finished updating the console and I also updated the controller as well. There's going to be an update as well. And we are here. Uh, the game loaded up, the system loaded up, and right now it's showing me the sign-in screen. I thought it was actually going to skip this. But I guess not. I'm going to have to change this. That way, when I turn it on, it actually skips all this and goes straight to my to my account. So, but this is how it looks. If you have, like, more accounts sign in, or you could just go ahead and skip sign in right here. But let's go ahead and sign in right there. And there you go. Hi, Mark. And one thing that I realized, it, it brought the background from the old Xbox. So it has the same settings as the Xbox One X that I was using. Same things with the tabs and everything. It feels like I really didn't upgrade a console at all because the background and everything has the old background from, for the system Xbox One X. But this does have animated uh, background. Let's go and show you guys. We've got a settings here, personalization. Uh, we got theme and motion i want it dark transition let's go ahead i think it's right here okay there you go dynamic background let's go to dynamic background and do we get to choose a color for your dynamic background i don't think so we got other options there let's go back again let's see if it actually changed the background oh there it is look at that it actually changed the background so now it has dynamic background uh, this of course is i have to i have to claim that game when i when it finally comes out there you go look at that so it has dynamic background which is something that you couldn't do before i don't know why but it's here uh, let's go ahead and show you guys a couple things here like for example display settings uh, I have, like I said, I'm connecting this Xbox Series S to my 4K BenQ uh, monitor. And you can see that I got 4K UHD connect, uh, using 1080p. doesn't have, I don't see 1440p. 4K. And right now what, is, what it says that it's your TV setup doesn't support 4K 120 hertz. Okay, so it doesn't support 120 hertz. Totally makes sense. Uh, playing games doesn't support 120 hertz. Games won't play 120 hertz. Okay, I get it because of my monitor. And it uh, says your TV setup doesn't support Dolby Vision. But everything else, is it does support like HDR10, 4K game clips, HDR game clips and screenshots. Everything else is compatible. HDR10 for gaming. So we're good there. Um, what else? Let's see what else can we do here. Power mode. Everything here is so similar. So if you've been using this Xbox for a long time, nothing here is going to look like different to you. Uh, let's go ahead here for storage. That's definitely something that everybody's going to be asking. What do you really get? It's 361 gigabytes free of 364. So in reality, you get 361. I haven't added any application whatsoever, but let's go and click in here, view content. Let's see if there's anything inside. Okay, there's no games. Applications, these are the applications that are right here right now. I don't know if this is here because I entered my account. So maybe it did bring some things 
these things are not here see these needs to be downloaded the browser is actually there netflix needs to be downloaded so okay there's no games whatsoever so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna connect the usb drive that i showed you guys right before we changed setup let's go and connect it to the console right now there you go i connected my usb drive ssd drive this ssd drive i made a video a couple weeks ago where i created this drive from a nvme ssd drive so here it is so i could go ahead and view content so now i have a couple games here that if i want i could go ahead and transfer to my console uh let's go and transfer a game right now and in settings we're gonna go ahead and hit storage again and here we're gonna go ahead and hit the settings buttons uh install here by default move or copy uninstall things rename format or set as capture location so what i'm gonna do is move or copy and right now i can see the sizes of the games right here i can see all the sizes of the games right here that is cool so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and transfer the smallest game which is gears tactics i've been wanting to play this game here and then I'll, I'll just go ahead and transfer everything else later on but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to go ahead and copy it copy select the game you are about to copy one thing from ssd to the internal yes copy and that's it so now that's going to be transferring from my ssd to the ssd internal drive that way the game actually launches from the internal drive and it also benefits from if there's like any update for next gen it also benefits from those speeds as well keep in mind you can play games from the ssd drive only if they are from xbox one games but if they are exclusive xbox series game like for xbox series x or s they can't play from the external drive they have to play from if you have one of those external um, storage that comes from seagate that's $220 yes you can play it from there but not from a normal SSD drive like I'm doing right now you could play Xbox one and older games but not series games not Xbox series games so right now like you see there transfer is going to my internal storage and the cool thing about this is that um, in my opinion if you're gonna buy the digital version just like I did the series s I recommend to actually have an external drive that way you can put there the games that you can play from an external drive uh, because you want the internal storage for xbox series s or games that are upgraded for xbox series s or x because the storage is too small and honestly i wouldn't pay 220 dollars for the seagate card because when you think about it that's 220 dollars this console is 300 dollars so you're going over you're going over the price of an xbox series x and look at that it already transferred and the the great thing about having everything in an external drive is that it's better to transfer files to the drive than deleting them because if you delete them then you're gonna have to use every time you want to play the game you're gonna have to use your uh, internet data so that's one thing that you don't want to. So right now we are done there and we'll see view content. Now, like you see there, the game is right there in our internal. And now we only have 335 gigabytes free, which is not bad because that means, you know, I technically can go ahead and, and install all the games that I have here. And I still am going to have some more storage. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this uh, Xbox Series S and um that's it guys like you see here i can actually see all the games since i have the external drive connected to it i can click here my games and apps and it automatically recognizes all those games as being here like you see there well guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about it the xbox series s like i said i'm very surprised how small it is and I like can see here on the video, I'm actually keeping the Xbox Series S 
under my desk right next to the Xbox One X Cyberpunk Edition and right below the PlayStation 5, which is huge. It's about to crush these two consoles at the bottom. That's how big it looks. So, but it's cool. I have both consoles there. Of course, I got the S instead of the X, but later on in the future, my mentality is that later on when the custom Xbox Series X comes out, I'll go ahead and buy that one. You know that's going to come later on next year. So I'd rather go ahead and save my money and buy that one, an, a customized Series X console from Microsoft, and that's it. So that's how I'm going to do my upgrades here. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the Xbox Series S. Did you get yours or did you actually get the X? Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.